All right, y'all, and what the hell did I just say? <laughs> Welcome to my channel. Today we're doing three looks with the new One Size Visionary palette by Patrick Star. Yes. But before we get into this, I had a few requests of my Patrick Ta blush. Um, I used the pow or. I used the cream and then the powder, but I wanted to show you guys the powder and then the cream since I had a few requests um, to do that. So I already have a little bit of my Fenty bronzer on and then we're just gonna try this out and see how I like it. Oh yeah, that's definitely, I have been so in love with this blush, oh my gosh. I tried it out yesterday and like all day yesterday. You know those days where like, you just don't really want to take your makeup off and you're like oh man like I feel so nice like that was yesterday for me <laughs> oh look at how pretty that is just with the powder but yeah I was like looking at the other shades online and I'm like mm, I need all of them <laughs> because these look so pretty and I'm really not a blush person but you know these brands Fenty, Patrick Ta, they come out with some bomb blushes I am all about went a little heavy-handed over here so I'm just gonna pat it out blend it a little bit more sometimes I get a little heavy-handed underneath my eyes <laughs> but now I'm gonna take uh, just a beauty blender I think I like this way the best we'll see I'm just gonna dab it on the top it does add a nice glow to it there's that side with a little bit of the balm on top versus this side with just the powder pretty good mm! I'm so happy with this but yeah I'm gonna need at least two more shades of this <laughs> oh my gosh I'm just so obsessed I'm gonna prime my eyes with the Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadow primer and then I'm gonna zoom you guys in to the first look. All right, I have you guys nice and zoomed in. If you guys haven't watched my first video with the One Size Visionary Collection, I'll have it linked in the cards and in the, my description box down below. But if you guys did watch it, you would know I really wanted to use these green shades. So for the first look, I'm going to be using these green shades. I'm first gonna take Soft Serve, that one, with the cute little face on it. I'm gonna use this. Kind of like a transition. These blend so well, so fast. Definitely the formula of these shadows are on par with what is in the market. All right, now I'm gonna take this shade Matcha, the green shade, and I'm gonna pack it on to my lid first because I really want this to pop. Oh man. That is the green I have been longing for. Oh my. And then I'm gonna take that same matcha shade and just start diffusing the edges, blending it into my crease. Even this green shade blends just like a dream. Mm, 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 mm. Yes, green. So I'm gonna take that soft serve shade, blend it under my lower lash line and then i feel like this fenty fly pencil would go great with this look this is in the shade bank tank yes <laughs> it did and then i'm gonna take matcha again and just run it up against my lash line and then i'm gonna take the shade manila sands and i'm just gonna highlight my brow bone just a teeny bit of it and then i'm gonna take the shade all of it and we're gonna make this whole look super green oh yes that pop oh my and ladies and gentlemen that is with a dry brush i'm gonna take the title holder shade and i'm gonna pop this in my inner corner oh 
yes all right and this is what the first look is looking like so far i'm gonna finish the rest of my makeup off camera and show you guys the finished final first look all right and this is the finished first look with the one size visionary palette i absolutely am so obsessed with the green shades in here mm, they nailed it on the spot oh and for my lips i use the fenty stella lip paint in unbuttoned Per usual with my three looks, one palette videos, let me know which of the three looks were your favorite down in the comments. This is look number one. Now let's get on to look number two. All right, getting into the second look, I really, really want to use just this like trio of shades. I don't know what it is about this peachy shade and this gold shade, but I really want to do what's really soft, just natural eye makeup today i don't know what it is but that's what i'm leaning towards and then i think the next look i'm gonna do a whole blue look just to test out the blue in, in this palette but uh, i'm gonna go in with the shade mango that peach shade and i'm literally just gonna fluff this everywhere i don't know why this is definitely i feel like i've told you guys that before like with the manny palette with the raw beauty christie palette like shades like this are definitely my go-to everyday like easy crease color i guess you could say i don't know what it is about this sh these kind of shades like peachy browns just get me every time for a neutral look i'll say oh and it blends so well i am so since this look is pretty fast i'm gonna kind of chit chat a little bit but i'm so happy that the makeup from patrick i was about to say patrick ta from well that too i'm happy about that but from patrick star i'm so much more happy with the eyeshadow palette and the eye topper from what I've tried compared to the makeup removers. If you guys haven't seen that video, I'll link it down below. I just was not a big fan of that. I'm gonna take the same shade under my lash line, but no, it just didn't, it didn't do it for me. I'm very much a balm type of person and I really wanna get the, oh my gosh, I'm blanking on the name, the Glow Recipe Papaya cleansing balm i don't know why but that is like calling my name and i am almost done with my clinique take the day off and i was really hoping to like the mist from one size but it just really didn't remove my eye makeup and for that price point i'm just i tried it a few times after filming that video and i just had to return it and then I got this palette and now I'm happy <laughs> sometimes things work out that way <laughs> and then I'm gonna take manila sands and I'm gonna highlight my brow bone this is a great staple palette I mean I feel like these kind of colors like these warm toned peachy uh kind of shades are in you know what i think i'm gonna take walnut strut yeah i think i'm gonna do this i'm gonna take walnut strut i'm gonna put this all over my lid since this is more like a it's not as glittery as title holder i'm just gonna just use my finger this is literally like a five minute makeup tutorial on my eyes but in reality if i was like grabbing this palette to like you know grab and go this is most likely what i would be doing and with my nail i can't get into the inner corner over here then i'm gonna take mango again just diffuse the edges want it nice and soft today and then i'm gonna take the shade title holder and I'm gonna pop this right in the center of my lid. Add more of that highlight and the shade has a little bit more sparkle to it. That is what I am looking for, but I'm gonna finish off 
the rest of my makeup off camera and I'll show you guys the finished completed look. All right, and this is the finished second look. Really neutral, sparkly. And then I did spice it up a little bit. I used the Fenty Beauty Fly Eyeliner in Puppy Eyes. It's a brown eyeliner with the kind of like coppery gold reflex in it. I thought it just kind of grounded the look a little bit more, added a little more of that gold glitter. And then for my lips, I have the Fenty Slip Shine Lipstick in number nine, Bubble Rum brown lippy, super juicy, hydrating. I just think this is straight up my alley. Glowy skin, definitely go to makeup look right here. <laughs> but this is the end of the second look. Now let's get on to the third look, which I am 90% sure it is gonna be a blue look. All right, we are down to the last look and we are going all blue. Though I am gonna take Taupe of My Game as a transition shade. So I'm gonna just pop you right in here in my crease. I'm not really paying too much mind to this shade because I literally just want it to be a, sl a slight little transition. All right, now I'm gonna take Blue Mondu, the blue shade, and I am going to be packing this over my entire lid. Oh, I'm so glad these all pack a punch. All these matte shades, like if you wanna wear the matte shades all over, you definitely can, cause they are pigmented and easy to build up and easy to blend. Well, I don't really know about this shade, but from what I can tell from using all the other shades is that they're pretty easy to blend. All right, now we're gonna take a small blending blush, blush, brush, <laughs> and I'm gonna start working these edges slowly blending. Yeah, this blends about the same as that green shade, which is a good thing. The hardest things that I find about blue shades is that when you blend them out, they kind of look a little strange. Maybe because I don't use a lot of blues. So I did lose a little bit of pigment on my eyes through blending. So I'm just gonna go back through and kind of fix that up a bit. There we go. All right, I'm gonna take this Fenty Full Eyeliner and see about it. And I'm gonna run this in my waterline. And then I'm gonna blend that out with the blue shade. And then I'm gonna take my blending brush again and the taupe of my game and just go over the edges and kind of smooth everything out a little bit more. All right, now I want to try out this black shade, Turban Legend. I'm just going to take a teensy bit of it and just put it right on my lash line in the outer corner and on my upper lash line as well. Just add a little bit of depth. In there. And then I'm gonna take the shade Rebel Gray. I'm gonna highlight my inner corner with this. I think I wanna put a little bit of it in my crease, oddly enough. Take a little bit of it and then just run it into this front area. All right, I'm gonna finish the rest of my makeup off camera and I'll show you guys the finished final look. All right, and this is the finished completed look. I like the blue i'm not normally a blue eyeshadow person like i don't really like blue all over my eyes but blue is pretty much the only thing in this palette that i'm just as far as a color scheme i'm not just i'm not really a fan of blue i'd much rather replace the blues with some more green shades or some unique duochrome shades or just something. I'm just not a fan of the pop of blue in eyeshadow palettes, but other than that, I really like this eyeshadow palette. I did, I, blah, blah, blah. I do think that it is a good 
um, everyday palette for me where you can get your more dramatic look then you can get your more natural looks out of it and then of course I do really like this one size eye popper I keep wanting to say eye topper but you know it's an eye popper it's really nice I am just slightly debating about getting the black one I don't know we'll we'll have to see but weird to see my eyes with all blue because I literally never do all blue. But let me know what you guys think of this palette, which of the three looks for your favorite. Oh, and then for my lips, I did use the Fendi Slip Shine in number seven, Goshi Gang, because I feel like a little bit more of a my lips, but better kind of a lip color would match more with this blue <laughs> we got going on. But if you guys haven't seen my initial video with this palette, with the swatches and everything, I'll have that video right over here for you guys. This video will be suggested to you by YouTube and my face to be right here. We click on it and subscribe to my channel.